Hey everybody, and welcome to Northern Land Tries The White Door. It's a game uh, I've had my eye on, honestly. Uh, it, it's part of the Rusty Lake series of games, which as I understand it are kind of uh, horror-ish adventure games, you know, puzzle adventure games. Uh, I haven't actually played them, but I've seen a decent amount of them being played, and this is uh, developed by the same company. It looks like uh, a unique puzzle game in its own right. I picked it up. It was like $3.50 Canadian on Steam. It's less than the price of a cup of coffee. I'm going to go ahead and assume you click on the white door to go through it. Look at that. <laughs> He's He solved it. All right. Day one. Drag. Oh, okay. So... It, it, it really feels, and I, I mean this in a way that is probably rife for misinterpretation, and it'll feel like this could possibly be an insult, but I don't mean it that way. It feels like the kind of game so far um, that is presented in like an iOS fashion, if that makes sense. You know, it almost has like touchscreen controls. I'm always a sucker for games that are not just like, you know, use WASD to move your man around his bedroom, you know? Although I am just clicking, to be fair. <laughs> well, of course, just woke up. Why don't we take a look at the old computer? Memory test available after 3 p.m. Okay. Drag to drink. Take that down to zero. One donut, one coffee, $1.57. I gotta say, it's a heck of a bargain. Why don't you go ahead and eat the donut? Why don't you go ahead and drink the coffee? That was nice. And now, oh, get up, breakfast, self-care, checkup, memory training, dinner, recreation, sleep. Okay, 9 a.m. is self-care. Self-care predominantly takes place in the bathroom, I think. Why don't you go ahead and give yourself a little uh, toothbrush. Well done. That was about four seconds. Four out of five dentists say uh, you've made a terrible mistake. Why don't you uh, go ahead and turn the sink on, and then... What have I done? <laughs> Drag the brush. I've, I've already brushed. Leave. You, you, don't, you don't belong here anymore. What about, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Wipe your face off a little bit. I'm clean. We've accomplished it. <laughs> it's 11 a.m. What's 11 a.m.? Checkup. Maybe at the, the chalkboard? Oh, not a chalkboard. A window. Hello, little birdie. Oh, hi, doggy. Nice view. In some ways, I suppose. What, what about this thing over here? What's this? It's a, it's a calendar. Okay. It's August 1972. And on the 20th day of the month, we have a door. I'm guessing we cannot leave. Yes, okay, that makes sense. All right, so I think it's... I don't want to say it's an Escape the Room-style puzzler, because I do not know that, but... That's how it feels right now. It feels like I'm... I'm old boy. What do you got here? It is... Johnson Bird Food, which I'm assuming this is my place of... Uh, of employment. Robert Hill, date of birth, 1931. I was going to say OK Boomer, but that's generationally inaccurate. Recreation only after 8 p.m. Okay, what the heck is checkup, though? Checkup. Maybe you can click on this little box over here. Oh. Um, tut. Not correct. Fair enough. Okay. Checkup. Check checkup could mean anything. I'm gonna assume it is okay, maybe hit that with a quick uh, low flow toilet flush. I know if it's yellow, let it mellow, but at the same time, uh trying to make a video here. Okay. I should have known I would get a little stuck on a puzzle get check up! You hit the button to let him know you're you're alive. Okay, hello. Hello, Mr. Hill. That's me. I see you are awake. You might feel a bit confused. You had an accident. What do you remember? What is your given name? Ra... Bert... Robert. 
What year is it? 1972. And the date? Oh, check it out. August. It's the 20th of August. And the date? Is it not? No, no, it's not the 20th. Sorry, it's the 13th. If you'll excuse me, madam, I need to go look at my dresser drawer to answer your question. Wait, this is not the calendar. Sorry, my mistake. Calendar, calendar, calendar. It was here. Yeah, today's the 14th. My mistake. Thank you, Robert. I will check on you tomorrow. Please stick to the program. I have done as you've asked. Now give me back my son. 15 o'clock <laughs> memory training. Do you want to start the test? Yes. Okay, that is a, a circle. Confirmed. What did you see? I saw a donut. This is hard. I saw a... Mm, I'm going to call that a box, but it's 2D. It's kind of hard to tell. That is a plant. Uh, that would be a frame. Absolutely. I don't really know about that one. Let's call it a painting, maybe? Cube speaker plain donut. I guess we can call that a speaker. That would be... That's just a circle. Perhaps a coin. Oh, that's a bird. Correct! Press enter. Test completed. Food dispatched. It's my dream existence. Although, I will say... Not a big spaghetti man. So, please... Yes. Take the pill. Drink down the soda. Sl <laughs> Great animation. Slurp up the spaghetti noodles. That was tasty. It's the first time anyone's ever said that about hospital food. Recreation. I'm excited to see what this is. Yo! God of Jim returns. I mean, this... I just gotta be honest with you, sir. This is terrible form. Like, what... You're exclusively working out, like, I don't know... One of the seven deltoid muscles on one of your arms. You're supposed to get a full extension going on there. Time for bed. Easy. Day one complete. Pull the covers up. The breakup. Okay. It's an emotional game. We met at the usual spot. That was unexpected. I was having a coffee at my favorite table on the right. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just staring at the table. This is before they invented uh, smartphones. I was stressed out, turning all the stuff in the same direction. Turning all the stuff in the same direction. Okay. Well, okay, get that pointed there. There. Come on. Come on. Uh, that'll do. I took a sip. <laughs> Apparently. Yo, he's got I the AirPods in. Donut. I ate it. Another five minutes passed. Seems like it's a game where you want to make sure you can read a manual clock instead of a digital clock. Okay, if you want to make five minutes pass, you take us to about here. Finally, she arrived. Whew. She looked tired, but beautiful as ever. She pulled her chair just a little bit closer. <laughs> she looked I'm away. sorry. Not a good sign. I don't think we should see each other anymore. I've decided to go away for a while. Mm. Uh, she's leaving. This is, yeah, yeah, click the button. I didn't know what to say. So I just I took just a sip. Took yeah! I tried to touch her hand, but she pulled away. Bad timing, dude. And then she was gone. Yeah, don't worry. I'll cover your coffee. I didn't know what to feel. So I took another sip. 
Oi! It's a metaphor, sweetheart. Alright, so we got a little lo-fi firewatch plus... Did we, did we actually have an accident? Also, was the accident an accident? That's what I'm thinking right now. Will we puzzle that out over the series of uh, the, the course of this video? Unlikely! But we'll get just a little bit of a tease to keep you going. So now, I mean, we got the routine nailed down here. You drink that. The fact that there's a bill does not make me feel correct here. So now it feels like something more cerebral is going on. That's okay. Little one of those. Mission accomplished. Don't forget to grab the towel. Sorted. Now let's see if my memory is good. It's 11 a.m. What happens now? That's checkup time. I'm an extremely good prisoner, apparently. I'm, I'm so eager to be compliant. All right. Good morning, Robert. Did you sleep well? Time for the checkup. Can you tell me your age? I was born in 1931 and it's 1972. I'm 41 years old. What was your favorite cafe? Owl. Owl will tell you in a minute. Owl nest. Okay. Owl nest. Where did you work? It was a bird food place. I don't recall specifically Johnson with two S's. Oh, my mistake. Like a former Toronto Maple Leafs, New York Islanders defenseman. John... Son... See that? That's supposed to be an H. There you go. No, sorry. My mistake. There you go. What would you like for dinner? Pizza, fries, or soup? You know what? I'm convalescent. Why don't you give me a soup? Thank you, Robert. You're making progress. It's 3 p.m. Time, time for my favorite part of the day, the memory test. Oh. There's six donuts, one's eaten. Error? Oh, we have to move to the eaten one, maybe? Correct. Press enter. So it's, it's spot the difference. Understood. Human brain is great at pattern recognition. Look at that. Oh, well, probably this one then. God, he's good. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's that one. And, uh... uh this is a tough one. I'm gonna say this one. Hmm. I'm gonna say that one right there. God, he's good. Soup dispensed. Oh, not that. No, no, no. Don't get greedy. Two liquids for dinner? How come your mom lets you have two liquids for dinner? Now, don't forget about recreation. Only to be used... Oh, there we, we got table tennis this time. Incredible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, real talk, I am a sucker for games that have a variety of, like, input mechanisms like this. Even though it might seem, like, simplistic... See ya. That constant, like, dopamine hit you get from a variety of different ways to interact with the game. I'm very much for it. I was driving to work. I turned off the radio. The uh -oh. music reminded me. I don't, I, don't, I don't remember how to do this in an old car. Good enough. To stay focused on the road. Well, you're not doing a great job so far. Let me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Hopefully, you live in North. Oh no! <laughs> I stopped for a red light. A beggar walked up to the car. I rolled down the window. May I go? Skirt, 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 skirt. Okay. I gave her a coin. That is uh, a token to get a free play of the basketball free throw game at the movie theater. You cannot fool me. The light turned green. It was already late. Please get in your go. lane. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to hurry. Pay attention to the signs. I think I think it will matter. I was already late. I had to hurry. 
So, mission accomplished, dude. Hey, uh, where the heck is my office again? Perhaps it's down this way? Perhaps it's over, over this way? Down, okay, there you go. How about now? Where, where's the next spot? Let's not, not adjust it yet. Trust the developers. To the right. Johnson's bird food, he's actually done it. There was never a doubt in my mind. What the heck are you feeding them, dude? Iron? Oh, sorry. You gotta walk yourself into the door. You gotta oh make the make the smoke rise. Okay. I walked up to the front door. The doors were locked. Birds just aren't eating anymore, kid. I'm sorry. I entered the code. Wow. This is information security in the 1970s. And then... Excuse me. It's 3461, you fool. Turns out it would have fooled me. Come in. I opened the doors. Asker? Asker? I thought maybe they'd let me make the smoke rise from the chimney again. My boss tightened his tongue. Yo, that is not your ball. Your boss. Your ball. <laughs> that is Heisenberg. Hill, you are late. Go to your station. This is my station. Station one. Oh, a manual labor simulator. I'm ready. Uh, corn goes in this one. And then bird feed goes in this one. Bird feed goes in this one. Bird feed goes in this one. Bird feed. I, I'm trying to watch the number. Okay, corn goes in that one, dude. Oh, it reset us. Hands go in the bottom. Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. There was a hand in the bird food? I feel like maybe I've uh, gotten myself fired. Okay, this is we need the circle. Suck up this ball. Oh, get it. Great stuff. One. This is square. Then triangle. Can't fool me, dude. I like this puzzle solving without actually getting any real instruction. That's another square triangle. Even though it is a little simplistic, it makes you feel like a genius when you get it. Because you weren't told that anything was about to happen. Do not push this button. I'm not made of time, okay? You think I'm gonna sit there for seven and a half hours? Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime, that's why I push on company time. My boss pulled his helmet down. You are fired. Just that get easy. Your stuff. Okay, I will. I will get my stuff. I will get my stuff. By the way, where is my stuff? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Perhaps I left my hand in one of these buckets? Perhaps I will just walk out the front door and oh, dude, to the lockers, of course. I was gonna say, you bought the helmet yourself, dude. Yikes, we'll just cover that one up. Don't forget, you're here forever. Day three. Alright, very interesting so far. I'm having a good time. What's bizarre? My brain is so broken. I think I'm. my favorite time is when I'm just executing the menial tasks afforded to me as a patient of this hospital. Um, so step one, what do you do first thing in the morning? Take a little drink. Rat doesn't bother me, dude. I don't want to. Oh, where did that mouse go? I don't. I don't want to break my routine, dude. It's dude. You you just woke up. You need the you need the dopamine hit. All right. Well, what time is it again? They won't. They won't let me eat. So we got to see where the mouse went. Did it go here? Did it go here? What's the box? A scoot? They really dropped the ball on the lack of sound effects. That's all I'm gonna say. 
Okay. We got we got some maps here. It's a very nicely presented game from an aesthetic standpoint as well. Okay. Put the battery in, please. Uh, right there. Close it up. Hill, you are late again. How did I do that so easily? <laughs> okay, question marks. You caused an emergency shutdown. Code 827. You're fired. Big whoop, dude. Close this up, please. Maybe just push the button. Biz. Nobody's coming, dude. Status. Insecure. Yo, where did this plant come from, though? There he goes. The white door. Mental health and fishing. In case of mental health emergency, please do not hesitate to call this number. Charges for international calls may apply according to your service provider. This might be real? I don't know. Um... But I'll tell you, I don't have a phone, so that's going to make things tough. Maybe you can still brush your teeth? You still got a brush. Oh, I found the rat as well. Where's he going? I'm watching. Oh, okay, he scurried over near, like, the computer. Give yourself a little quick shave. Great! Okay. Oh, he's gone back over here now. Hello? Where's he going now? Back to the breakfast? Does this mean I can- Oh, no! Gross! Alright, 11 a.m. Can I have my checkup, please? My only friend in this whole world. And he betrayed me by eating my donut! Hi, Robert. I hope you slept well. How are you feeling today? Let's say okay. The bird food's main ingredient? If you'll give me a moment. Canary grass. I mean, normally, according to the FDA, you have to have the top ingredient uh, be the most prevalent one. Oh. Shake it out, dude. Free food. Where was it located? See, that's something I don't remember. Presumably, it must be on one of these documents. Oh, you know what? 16 Park Road, I'm assuming. It does say on. I don't know what that is. It might say no upside down. Six. I, it's not 16 Park Road. Hold on. Hold on. This is a this is a touchy one. You asked me to read maps. You know what? It might be 91. Don't think it's going to be 91. Well, we know it's going to be road. <laughs> so it's going to probably going to be something Lake Road would be my guess. Park just looking at the the numbers. Lake Street. Could that is that's it right there. 30 Lake Street. 30 Lake Street. Yo, he's so good. Where is the owl's nest located? He's um excuse me. Excuse me. Where's my I need my photos, please. No! I get it now. The owl's nest is O-N. So I thought it was 91, which means it's actually... Hold on. <laughs> Just look. <laughs> it's up here somewhere. It's up here somewhere. Yeah. 16 Park Road. Okay. 16-P-A-R-K-R-D. Uh, what is the emergency code? Oh my god. 911. <laughs> uh, one, 
sorry, take these out. One, one, nine. I don't know the emergency code. The cause of, oh, code 827. There we go. Thank you, brain. What would you like for dinner? I'll take some fish, please. It was nice to see you again. I'll keep an eye on you. We've solved the hardest puzzle I've ever experienced in my life. Now, one more memory training. Let's do it. Oh, my Lord. Um, it's a maze. This one, I gotta admit. Correct, press enter. Um, not really sure about this one. Just kind of winging it. <laughs> I guess we're trying to like complete a scene of some sort. But this one... Oh, it, it's where the object was in the previous image. Okay, I understand. So that, this one was like a bottle on a table kind of, wasn't it? Maybe it was over here. Look, it was somewhere in this vicinity. Don't try to trick me. Big square? Feels like it should be up here. Let's go. This square, I think it was up here. Let's go. God, he's good. We've earned it. Eat that delicious fish, sir. Whoa. Don't you don't need to eat the tail, that's okay. You could eat the head and the eyeball if you if you choose to. That was fishy. Just how I like it, dude. Uh is that chocolate? Oh, it's dominoes. Okay. So we got our own little puzzle happening here. This has gotta be a six right there. So do we have a, we do have a one, two. So look at that. First part of the puzzle solved. This would be a four one. A one three. Let's go three five. Is there a five two? There is a five two. Oh my god, he's so good. How did he get so good? And I'll tell you, we want two five. Five three. No. Oh, he, he's still done it. He's still done it. It's one. Of, if you ever wanted to know the mysteries of the human brain, remember a three-digit number? Impossible. Solve the domino pattern instantaneously? No problem. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for Northern Lion Tries the White Door. In the afternoon. Just pause it for a second. It seems like a really, really cool game uh, with some inventive puzzles. Uh, a lot of thrill to the actual like movement of solving the puzzles. A lot of like discovery and... Uh, novelty to come along with it, and a story to boot. This is a really cool game. I'm having a great time so far. Check it out for yourself on Steam. The price is insanely cheap uh, for a game with this kind of ambition. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!